I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Dungan Rumpa Trigger Happy Havoc. I think you guys need to be on the Clash Trial for the next murder because you guys are killing the likes on this series. You all are hitting 50,000 likes every single video. So keep pressing the like button on this series because every 50,000 likes I will release a new episode. But we're gonna figure out who's next right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go! <laughs> I can be what the heck? What is this? I know I shouldn't cry, but... What do you know you shouldn't cry? What are you doing? I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon? It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. Uh-oh, she has murder on the mind, ladies and gentlemen. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to. Might decide to what, huh? Do a little stabby stabby? Little chokey chokey? Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Donuts cheer everybody up. I would like a donut too. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, malasadas. Okay. Oh God of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. Wait, am I playing as her? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Huh? Huh? Uh oh. Huh? What's that sound? Hmm. It sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. It sounds like some power drill massacre type stuff. But. I'm super scared, but. Is. Is someone there? <gasps> Who is that? Chihiro's head? What was that? A next generation legend. Stand tall, galactic hero. What is this? Some Super Smash Bros. type stuff? Dude, that is so sweet. <laughs> the morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall just like always. And I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today's count kinda sucks, huh? Toko and Biakuya still refuse to show up. Um... And I haven't seen Miss uh, Sahina anywhere. <laughs> she said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh, That is rather unusual for her. Normally, she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then... So it's just the seven of us, then. It looks that way. How about that? It's times like this where this committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang! Impossible. Or not. He still misses his bro, bro. Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. I don't blame him, bro. He's my bro, bro. One look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. Oh, Mondo. Poor Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then, having to watch Mondo get punished, and nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Yeah, he got buttered up. Literally. Wow. So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. We simply have to make the best of things, do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well, Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Well, it kind of feels like we're in prison here. Prison gives you food, it gives you a bed, it gives you people to talk to sometimes, it lets you exercise, but it's still prison at the end of the day. Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, is our current situation not... Demon Angel, pretty pudgy princess. Huh? Hmm? Neggy, the drill shop owner, the bunny eared Amazon, cat girl, dog boy, robo justice, the galactic king. And, and, what I mean is, there's no 2D here! There is nothing to The mastermind puts such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well, anyway, since talk is like catatonic, <laughs> as the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So. We're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right, Well, I mean, right? since the class trial is over and all. Perhaps. There should be new places for us to investigate. 
Hmm, yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then... Then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> hmm, there may well be a discovery waiting for us which may further enrich our life here. Uh, no, the point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me and so you I appeared. So appear. Genocide! What? Ah, nobody called for you! Uh, oh. What the? How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Yes. God, this place is just amazing! Finally a place I can just be my murderous self! Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me! Uh. Plus, I have another battle to fight. What, putting that big-ass tongue in your mouth? The whole killer with the split personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, but um... you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> if she weren't there, my chances of survival would go up at least 10%. Uh... Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> okay, Genocide Joe, calm down. So, we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer. And after our much needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. I need to buy some presents, guys. And I need to upgrade my skills that pay the bills. Because I have no skills. Alright, let's check the store out. Because I need to buy some presents. Because I gotta hang out with my friends. Can't neglect the homies. There's some pretty cool stuff here. Let's see what this is. Would you like to try your hand against the almighty Mono Mono machine? Sure, give it a shot. All right, let's give it a shot. Uh-oh. What do you want me to do? Um, okay, let's put five coins. Got an item. That was easy. The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? I don't know, Makoto. Let's figure it out. We got a rec room. I think this is where I could probably play, like, volleyball and soccer. Oh, no, never mind. I could play pool. Hmm, so this is a recreation room. A place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. Well, no normal school would. It has Othello, Shogi, even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They have even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up. Ring, ring, ring! Hello there! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines! Oh, but nothing dirty! This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags! And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Sorry, no can do! Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Oops! Nothing, never mind, no, no, no! Anyway, that's it for my expoundation, bye-bye! What he just said? I know, right? It bothers me too! Life here would be that much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing! Really? Yes, that is disappointing. Let me check out the magazine collection. There are all different kinds of magazines here on the shelf. They even have a bunch of monthly comics, but without getting regular updates, what's the point? I agree with that. What's over here? Leave the area? No, no, no. I saw another door, didn't I? To my right? No, that's a locker. It's a beat-up old locker. It doesn't seem especially important right now, so I don't need to open it. What's more beat up, that locker or my meat? I'm kidding. Come on, guys. Hey, there's my favorite, Kyoko! It would so the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab in an art room. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. I wonder what it does as well. Why don't we go find out? Let's go to the physics lab. What the hell is this? Oh, the art room? It looks like a big old cave. Definitely don't want to be going this scary-ass art room. At first glance, this looks like any normal art room. But something about it seems off. Or multiple somethings. What do you mean? I mean, I see a Monokuma statue. Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. Got a coin. That's all that really matters. Okay, what else can we check out? 
Um, what about this? Ooh. Ah. Wait, is that Leo and Mondo? This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. Look, it's Leon and Mondo. Mondo, Edgy Hero. <laughs> There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. That's sad. Huh? What I saw in that picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo. Where Sayaka and Junko? And they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? Because they're having fun, Makoto! When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How'd they get it developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it. Which must mean, wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak? But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... That's mine! Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and any chance I had at answers evaporated. Ha! You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't they were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped the page right out of the Book of Youth! What's going on with that picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing! Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind, I don't even know why I bothered asking. What else can we check out here? I mean, I guess we could check out these hammers. These Super Mario Bro hammers. There are wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they use them for making sculptures. Okay. What about this thing? A dolly. They must use it to move all the statues around. And just that little run-of-the-mill TV that's really nothing. Okay. Well... I think we're done here, so let's back on out and let's check the physics lab because Kyoko said something about some kind of machine. Where would the physics lab be? Is it to my right? Okay, this is the next area after the next class trial, so I gotta remember that, Jay. And if I don't remember that, you guys gotta remind me. Or not, because I'm not reading the comments of this series. I really don't want to get spoiled from this series. Oh man, this physics room is spoiling me right now. Look how big this is. This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. Okay, let's talk to Mr. Sad Guy over here. Hey, Taka, don't you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Ta -ta -ta. Still no reaction. Mondo. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry, Taka. Uh, let's see this thing. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Watch out! What? What? You want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicist. Although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? So it can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! Oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. One minute? Hmm, you sound disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. What? Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. But what with the discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You anyway, guys? this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your butt! This huge thing is just an air purifier? Bullshit! And more than that. Ta -ta -ta. To go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you! That is pretty messed up. Monokuma is a fucky wucky for sure, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what else we can check here. This computer. No, we can't check the computer? This thing. They must use these for physics experiments and stuff. There's materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, and all kinds of stuff I don't even recognize. I keep getting coins, guys. I'm a rich bitch. Like, you guys already know what I do. Check this out. This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but... 
I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. Is that it? Can I just leave? Alright, I guess I'm out of here, guys. Sayonara, mother suckers. Unless, yep, there's another deeper level to this thing. And Genocide Jill's here. This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Ah, this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. It's so tempting. Ah, I want to just dunk myself right in. Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Why can't she be called Genocide Janice or something? Why does that have to be Genocide Jill? Because it makes more sense because Genocide Jack, but it's a girl Genocide Janice. No? No? Is it just me? Is it the Jack and Jill type thing? I guess, but let's check this stuff out. There's a bunch of files here. Probably old lab files or research data. Let's talk to... Damn it, I want to talk to Genocide Jill. Pendulums, wheels, rail segments, all the equipment is scattered all over. They're all covered in dust too. They obviously haven't been used in a long time. Okay, come on, let's talk to her. Ah, uh, it really is unbearable. A nice long bath and a tub of formaldehyde. That's true happiness. Just thinking about it makes me... <sighs> okay. Are we good? Wait, what's this? What's this blue thing? This is a tarp. There isn't anything strange about it. Seems perfectly ordinary to me. Ah, uh, you thought... Okay, I think that we're all good here. Because we examined everything in this room. Wait, 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 wait. There was something on that table over there. I saw that? Right here. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, it still works. I should show the others later. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Okay, so maybe there was a picture on the camera that's going to be very crucial to the story later. I know I'm right. I feel it in my bones. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Uh. Hina? I tried to talk to her, but... My voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Huh? Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and they really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Mm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well, well my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Mm. Miss Asahina is mm. pretty much the mm. same, it looks like. Just hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Well... Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you! Huh? huh? <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge! What the heck? Did you convince them to double up your milk production? Ah, Stay away from her, fiend! Uh, um... Anyway, first things first. We should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Mm, right. Talk about what we found? Okay, who should I talk to first? Oh, everybody's crucial, huh? Okay, first let's talk to Aoi. So, um... Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be... It didn't happen to be a donut-related discovery, did it? Hmm. What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind. It's about the nurse's office, remember? There's one on the first floor, right? Well... I remember, but it's locked. Yeah! Actually, not anymore. So... Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. I see. That's disappointing. Yeah, Sakura's gotta make those gains! Aww. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Okay, that's it. So the nurse's office isn't unlocked. Let's talk to this guy next, because I don't want to hear him hmm. later. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Biakuya a little while ago. Uh, what? You, Where? No, Where was he? What? You're kind of scaring me. Where was he? Uh, um... He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 So no. that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> wow, she just ran off. Is, is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that Taka's not going to tell us anything, right? Just a bunch of dots. Yep. There we go. It's no use. 
Yeah, we know, we know. Let's talk to Sakura next. Hmm. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and the rooms were blocked off. I wish they'd give this a rest already. For serious, give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the it would end. seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. Okay, who's next? The Fumi? Let's talk to Mr. Fumi. There was an art room on the third floor and had all kinds of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. I'm not going to talk about those anime characters. If I can't watch all the anime, then I'll make all the anime. Anime characters. That reminds me of the thing I found. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, maybe mm -hmm. that's what we need to talk to him about. Okay. <laughs> so let's click on that. Text. And bam. Oh, yeah. Speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. Hmm. Huh. A digital camera? That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well, then let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. It looks like it could store like five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well. On top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. No, Rude! Nothing. She's not strange. She's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, you recognize this, Hifumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation. Where did you find it? In the physics lab? <laughs> it's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it on the first day along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... Ah, uh, but look at it! What? It got all messed up! Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection, or you buy a second-hand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not mint condition. I don't need it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Mm. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Okay, who else do I need to talk to? Celeste and Kyoko, right? <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room up on the third floor. I have no doubt about that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> hmm, will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? Not me, not it. Correct. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? huh? What's something like that doing there? Mm. Is the device really that big? Mm. I really don't get it. Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. So now it's my turn! Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently, Monokuma took it. Huh? A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? No, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those are... those three? And the three of them were laughing. Oh. It showed the three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then, then the picture wasn't taken here? Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to the school. Why? You probably just imagined it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. No, I saw it. I'm telling you. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here, How about that? I bet they're still alive. They left the school and then took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible. After all... We know. Do we have to relive this again? We saw it with our own eyes. No. They're all dead. Don't show Mondo. Don't show Mondo! Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko. And then there's... Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. Thanks for making me relive the past, assholes! So we had to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right, but more importantly... <laughs> on another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. 
Okay, well, why don't we discuss it right now instead of me having to click on your ass? <laughs> there is also something that has been bothering me. Let's check it out. What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually, it's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? Huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It is called a tell, something that you cannot hide no matter how hard you try. Okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose just gets a little bit longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. That's no fair. <laughs> hmm. If you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? Are you feeling I'm guilty sure about something? Just a no, that's not it at all. But... It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? What is that reason, Hina? I like calling you Aoi. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. What is the truth? The truth? Well... I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. Hmm? A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But, I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um, so, um... it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up until now. I ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Hmm? Donuts again? Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know, sorry. I feel really bad about that. Hina. Anyway, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro! Say what? Ah! Oh, no way! No! A ghost? Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Well, then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. Wait, what? You're what? gonna go and try to see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you! What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone! Take me with you! Hey. What are you gonna do, Celeste? There is nothing I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? Oh. I guess um. that's a yes. Well, I mean, there's nothing else to do in this school anyway. Might as well check if there's a ghost, right? So, it was um. right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on. Uh, Come Cthulhu Fagan, whatever that means. Please. Shut up! What if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina, where was it you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well... Well, I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. Where's that at? Oh, right here? Okay, let's check that. Um, is this the locker? There was something in here. Oh, it's a laptop. Huh? Inside the locker is... A laptop? What's something like that doing here? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Jahiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? 
Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost? I am surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. Oh man, if I had the love clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, it's okay. On. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. What are you don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? But listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? In other words... Maybe someone hid it in here. But... If that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it in here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference? There's no surveillance camera. Yes. Precisely. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. So you're saying someone put the laptop here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it. It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro, shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. Okay, let's check it out then. It's just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then... So first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard. There you go. And the display instantly began to glow a pale green. There was a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says Alter Ego? Hmm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the Alter Ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark. And then, a voice spoke to us. You really came! Master, you're here! Chihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh, it's a ghost! No! Buddha and sweet baby Jesus, save me! Calm down. Calm down. It's not a ghost. What? Huh? Um... Then, what is it? Anyway. I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Kyoko began to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... How? I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. That voice, the tone and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program? That's right. It's how Chihiro earned his title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in a computer, and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro used a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine, reinforcement learning. It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more, just Google it, I'm okay? Sure. In other words... But if this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Hmm. And that is why it is called Alter Ego, a fine choice then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your alter ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what your hero created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay anyway, so he fixed the broken laptop and put his program on there. That is what this means, yes? Then he brought the machine to this dressing room, where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> hmm, but you know, all this about master and whatnot? Yes, yes! I believe I'm on fire. Huh? I thought you were only into 2D. <laughs> this is the most excellent 2D possible! Huh? But he's a guy, and also a computer program. I see. Oh, that, well, that aspect is no problem. I mean... That aspect? Anyway... Anyway, let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed away rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. Well... But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's right. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? 
Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection of them is surprisingly strong. So it's taken me a little longer than I thought. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything is unlocked? Um, it's gonna be a while. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. Don't worry, I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes. That is fine indeed. during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay have you with forgotten? This? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room. However, There's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then, what can we do? So then. Once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But, but if you leave your door open all night, then... It's true. There's a chance I may become a victim myself, I know. However, but I'm not as weak as you may think. I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was somewhat similar to Biakuya's tone, but at the same time different. Yeah, it had an entirely different feel for sure. Like someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who had been born on a battlefield. I felt like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um, um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Uh, I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Shihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> Somehow I feel kind of like... sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. The AI seemed totally different from what we'd first arrived. He seemed a beat. Was it just because he was following his programming, or could he actually have been worried about us? Could it be? Huh. What's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help from the outside. Hmm. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? Well, if we take it out from here and find somewhere that does have online access... Hey. That's way too dangerous! The Mastermind would find out in no time! Uh, um, oh, yeah. True. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll be back, I promise. Uh, Come on, Afumi, let's go. I... Okay. And we all left the dressing room. If Kyoko dies next, I'm gonna be so freaking mad. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue. <laughs> da -da -da -da! Hina has gained enough experience to level up! What's the matter? So, what was this awesome something? Monokuma! What the You guys heck? all seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? No, nothing in particular. Oh, keeping secrets? No fair. I demand an exclusive interview. Denied, denied, super denied! What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Do it? You mean like, do it, do it? Wait, what? What do you mean, do it, do it? Yes. Ew, gross, you said do it. Just what? You said it first! <laughs>
We were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? Huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. Hina won the match for us, and that is why we are all so pleased. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... Okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, ah, jeez. What are you gonna do, right? We lost. Fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with a ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh. Um... Damnation. Nuts and damn it, we totally lost. Another day without getting to take my very first bath here. Uh, um... Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get the bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey. Hold on! Hey. Something hey. strange here. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? <gasps> What's strange is, this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Huh? <laughs> That's... You're absolutely right! I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> all of you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just go quietly back to the dining hall? Quietly back to the dining hall, Makoto. Come on. You don't want to be that guy. No, I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just head back to the dining hall. Hey. What? Wah -wah? But what about your man's fantasy? I'm not sure a real man's fantasy should be about spying on girls and stuff. You know what, Makoto? Hey, Makoto, this is for you, buddy. This hand claps for you. Come on, everybody. Come on, clap it up. We had headed back to the dining hall, leaving Monokuma standing there alone. But to be honest, even I was a little reluctant to turn down the upper. Makoto, come on, you dog. You dirty dog. So I guess you dig the real thing just like any other guy, huh? Mm -hmm. The only reason I care is because it's a good reference for creating figurines. A real-life woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked form might be okay. Maybe. No if way. the girls heard you say that, we'd all be dead meat for sure. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it! Ah, oh, man, what a nice bath! This is fun. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... <laughs> Sorry, no time for that! So in the That's end. what I figured. Huh? huh? Actually, we were just saying in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. Because... After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Hmm. You're all so terrible to me. My entire <laughs> Everyone's so cold and mean, even after I got presents for you all. Presents? Hmm? Well, now, well, oh, have well, I got now. your attention? <laughs> then let's head to the gym, where your presents await. See? No questions, no dilly-dallying. Get a move on and everything will become clear. Oh. What is it? Um, what are you scheming this time? He's see. probably going to repeat the same thing again, providing us with a motive to get things going. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However, it's okay. We have alter ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. So for now, correct. We have to just endure it, come what may. Man, there's a lot of talking in this episode. Whew. My throat. Oh, there's Biakuya and Genocide Jill. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. But when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Biakuya, did you get here early? <laughs> did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> hmm. The same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand. What the heck? Oh, she's back to her Debbie down herself, huh? Hmm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. <laughs> so now she's gonna go from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kinda late to add that into the mix. <laughs> why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. So when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well. Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... Yes! Cutscene! Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That was non-stop talking for about, what, 40 minutes? You gonna talk? Or you want me to talk again? I'm probably gonna have to talk again, huh? You guys! 
It looks like everyone's here. So then let's get started. I do have to talk again. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However... Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not going to lose to you ever again. Come on. <laughs> you don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. <laughs> Without further ado, I give you this. Give us what? Money? Isn't that money? Ten million dollars. What are you gonna do with the money here, though? I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. Okay, that's actually a good incentive. What do you think? That's a great it's graduation gift. Ten million gift. bucks. Ten million smackaroos. Hey, give me a knife. I'll kill somebody right now for it's that. It's like totally wow, wow, wow. Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the motive you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is... <laughs> it's not nearly enough. It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. But there's no way we'd kill each other for money. Of course. She's right. You can't simply purchase a person's life. Uh, um... You can say 10 million or however much. I don't give a crap for serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on, stop trying to act tough. The most wait. important thing is to wait. live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with the massive sum of money. Um... There's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? <laughs> Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. <laughs> yeah, there might be someone here who's having money problems. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over $1 million from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Uh, Fumi, what about you? you know I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comics and DVDs. Yeah. Uh, then... Hey, just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. Uh, ugly? <laughs> don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. Ding dong, bing bong, bye bye. Okay, it's time to go back to the rooms. Let my throat take a break. <laughs> as soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money, there's no way that's gonna get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned, but this time, this time it's different, I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. You sure? You sure about that, big dog? What should I do today? Um, let's check on Taka. Let's see how he's doing. Leave the area, yes. Because I want to see how my main man Taka's doing. Maybe he can be our bro. Maybe he can be our new bro, right bro? This is Taka's room. I don't have anything I need to talk to her about right now. Wait, Taka? Taka's a dude, right? Taka's actually here in class 3A, so let's teleport there. And then Taka should be in 3A. Let's see how he's doing. He's our bro. A bro has always got to look out for a bro, right bros? Hmm, should I hang out with Taka for a while? Sure. That's it? I, um, kept an eye on the half-conscious Taka. Taka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Taka a present? Um, what do I have again? I have for him... A bunch of nothing! Oh, somebody came over. Huh? Sounds like someone's here. Who's over at my door, huh? Am I gonna get killed? Oh, it's Taka! Taka! Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Huh? You mean Alter Ego? He's still alive? No, not quite. Hmm. Let me see. I want to talk to him. Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego. But even so, 
I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? Okay, so I guess we're gonna go to the bathhouse. Leave the area? Yes. Is it because I hung out with him? Let me talk to Kyoko first. Let me make sure just it's okay. Second. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko, look at Taka standing behind me. Yeah, I know that. But I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Well, then I guess that's okay. I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. Is he really behind me? He's not even behind me! Why is everybody lying? Okay, I gotta go to the bathhouse, which is here. And then Genocide Jill's just standing there. So I guess her alter ego just comes out whenever she pleases. Look at Taka just chilling right there. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. Uh, How do uh, I talk to him? Oh, um, well, you just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Hmm. Please. Okay. I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked them. And then... So, um, do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think that is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape, all of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. Hey. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Um. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. And what appeared next was... You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Wait, how did Mondo end up here? <laughs> Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. Hmm. That's... I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. Yo. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed. Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? <laughs> Taka? Uh. It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dry sponge. Huh? Those words, deep within my heart, they're inside of me. <laughs> Taka? Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes? F you. Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I caused kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. Your voice. Yeah. I'm a new me. Yeah. Ah, I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Okay, Taka, just calm down. What? I am calm. And don't call me Taka. That's that's not my name anymore. Yeah. I'm me. Did he go Super Saiyan Taka? What's up with his white hair? Yeah. I am me. Taka let out a bone chilling howl and ran out of the room. Hey, Taka, hold on. And I took off after him. But someone stood in my way. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? Kyoko! Um, no, see, this is just... Enough already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems. And not just for me, for everyone. Sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here. Now. Okay. <laughs> Makoto. Now we know who the boss of this whole operation is. Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. You better be embarrassed. You better be sullen. Whatever sullen means. All right, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taka yesterday. Okay, well, that was fast. Leave the area, yes. Let us tell everybody what happened with Taka, because that's what we do in this game. We just gossip, we just spill the tea. We sip the tea, spill the tea, do everything with the tea. Wait, it's only him. You know? Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. They went on ahead. Went on ahead to where? Hey, we can talk on. about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Bath? Wait, just me and you? Okay, my guess, bro. Sponge me, bro. Wash my back, bro. Oh, everybody's here. Ah! Ah! Someone help! 
Nifumi, what's going on? <laughs> Makoto, save me! I've never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now! What happened? <laughs> She's trying to kill me! Nifumi pointed at... Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you? Why? <sighs> I never said I was gonna kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. The same mistake? What did he do? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and assessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. Huh? What were you doing? <sighs> I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work, Listen to me. I suppose I have to clarify myself further. <laughs> oh, please don't kill me! Wrong. I'm not gonna kill you. Merely instruct you. How fierce. Uh -huh. Okay, let's talk about us some more, Kyoko. Come on. What? I just want him to explain himself. Oh, okay, so we have to talk to him. Um, Fumi, could you tell me what happened? Well, well I was just talking. However. Which was prohibited, was it not? <laughs> I mean, you see, talking to her was just so much fun, and I just... Uh, um... Oh, okay, time out. I can't even believe I'm about to ask this, but... But Fumi, you're not going to tell us you fell in love or something, are you? Mm -hmm. uh, that I, the cold-blooded killing machine of the underworld, would ever fall in love? That's... Well, Wait, no way. Is, seem... is this love? According to the I happened spirit... to do a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once. And that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. How about that? In your eyes just now. I saw the same look in his eyes. No, Shut up! Nothing. She's not a mannequin. She's an angel! I feel and don't bother if... telling me angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. Uh... Yeah, you're totally in love. Uh... So how did things end up like this? Well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. Ew. But then I was poking around at her settings and stuff and saw she was a well-designed program. And it was like, how can I say? It was the first time I, I was ever able to talk like that with a normal girl. But she's definitely not a normal girl. What? Even when all I did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> Your stories are so interesting, Hifumi. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I suppose. That's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> That's why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even the keyboard? <sighs> I think you have misunderstood the situation, Ifumi. Are you okay Alter with Ego this? was not interested in who you were. It was not interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear things it did not know. You are an expert in many things Shihiro could not have taught it about for what it is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information, that is all. I know that. I know, I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you saying it's totally hopeless? Uh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. You. Hey, you jerks. I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber-jabber on about whatever. Yo. Oh, Taka, are you back? <laughs> Who the hell's Taka? Huh? Um, you? <laughs> Listen up, I'm me, got it? What the huh? Heck? You're who? What? Don't bullcrap me. Isn't it obvious? I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo. So like Kiondo, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. Whoa, 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 chill. This is not that kind of game, people. What, what the? What the heck kind of fusion is this? Oh. What's happening, to you, Taka? Actually, I told everyone what happened the day before. Well then. So because of what Alter Ego said to him. Um. Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Uh, uh, ghost? There's no such thing. Uh, what are y'all whining about? Come on! What? God, you're really cheesing me off. Hey, Hifumi. Uh, yes? Uh, yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but... Uh, the role belongs to me. Uh, huh? Yeah. Alter Ego. He's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. Uh, and I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again, fudge an idiot! I'm afraid mm -hmm. I can't allow that. What? So it I can't seem. withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. <laughs> Destiny has I'm bound sure me and her together in the Gordian knot of true love. <laughs> well, me and him have been melded together in the white-hot heat of friendship. Hey, come on, you guys. 
moron! Talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right into all four of your vital points! Well, I punch at the speed of sound, and I don't have any arm hair, so there's no drag! Enough already. Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Chihiro left them all to us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, hey. they'll have to deal with me! What? Anyway. Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? I can't hear you. I... Yes? Yeah. Got it. So then. Okay then, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. After watching Hifumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. Am I gonna hang out with people? It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I just have to pull myself together. So, what should I do with the rest of my day? Okay, here's Kyoko. Just a second. What's the matter? Why are you bouncing around like a little rabbit? <laughs> Don't you have anything to do? Hmm, should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Sure. Certainly. There's no reason to decline, and I'm not the type to decline anyway. And I... Besides, I find myself more and more intrigued by someone like you. Hey, cool! I spent some time with Kyoko. Kyoko likes Makoto, that's what I'm talking about. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kyoko a present? Yes. What would you like to give her? Okay, um, let's see what we can give her. Uh, a Zol Diamond? Blueberry perfume blueberry? That's awesome. Okay, uh, Emperor's Thong? Bruh, you can't be giving a girl a thong and you're not even with her? Very popular with men these days, but to be honest, although it does attract the ladies, most guys hate the smell. Let's give that. Thank you. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, um, Kyoko? And? If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. You could certainly make the argument that forming friendships may help prevent killings. So... But are you asking for some kind of deep connection? Huh? Because... You could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friends so you can gather information. No, that's not... Why? Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? A test? That's right. If you're as gung-ho on friendship as you claim, this should be an easy question. Okay, so I just have to answer your question, is that it? So then... Are you ready? You consider Hina one of your friends, yes? And? If that's true, what is her ultimate ability? That's an easy one. Hina's ultimate ability, she's training for the Olympics and... swimming. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, of course. Correct. Well, asked and answered. It would seem... Then your pleas of camaraderie are true. Of course! <laughs> yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you could never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again with that foolishly open stuff. So then... Okay, then as promised, what would you like to know about me? Oh, um, let's see. What school did you used to go to before you came here? Okay, basically she said that she went to school abroad and she didn't even want to talk. So that's it. She's a mysterious girl. Kyoko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. And our max number of skill points increased. Hey! Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Huh? There's something by the door. What? How do you know that? Wait, how did you even see that? The door didn't even ring. This piece of paper, it looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But to want to meet up so suddenly. Who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? Kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Why don't you bring a baseball bat or something? Leave the area? Yes. You gotta go to the dining hall. You gotta do whatever that note says, right? Because you're a little bitch boy, Makoto? I'm kidding, Makoto. I mean, he kinda is. You know? He seems like a yes man. He'll do whatever anybody wants him to do. He's to freaking grow up, huh? Yo! Oh, Makoto! He wrote the, the letter I found in my room. You know? Yup, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Hmm. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Hmm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Actually... I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. No, I... I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered into my ear. For serious? It's all an act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then did Alter Ego finish his search? You got it, Hero. Let's go take a dip together. I was probably louder than I needed to be. 
But me and Hero hurried into the dressing room. Damn, everyone's here. Literally everybody. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. F you. Hey, you! How long were you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. What? What do you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? <laughs> Taka. He seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. <laughs> what? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? How what rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master. Oh. Hmm? Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, well, anyway, on. everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. Hey. You wanted all of us to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? It's gotta have something to do with Alter Ego, right? That's right. Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The mastermind's true identity? Is that not it? I'm assuming that's not it. It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered... Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? No way! You're kidding, right? Oh. Huh? Um... What? She's... gone? You. you can't be fudging serious! What'd you do with him? Mm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just missed it? However... I was in the laundry room right next to the door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then... <laughs> the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could only have been him! Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? what? I'm the ultimate moral compass! I would never do something like that! I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. <laughs> Shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Oh, wait. I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. <laughs> Wrong. It's you. Serious. Well, I'm sure it was one of you. So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? huh? Why not? So... I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? What? <sighs> it was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. What? Then who was it? So that's... The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. Hm. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself, one of us must be the thief. That's terrible! Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? Hm. How about this for a reason? There is a traitor among us. Huh? Hm. One of us is working for the mastermind, a spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It can't be! Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The Mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the Mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. There's no way! What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? I don't care! I don't care who... Someone... Anyone... Save her! Please, rescue her! I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Damn it! Same here. How many times did they have to kill Bro before they're happy? I'll beg. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give him back. So, This um... is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very I least... I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe, for the moment at least. Yes, If indeed. they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter! Nothing! Nothing else matters! No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back! That's my promise as a man! I swear! I swear I'll I save her! Save using her. the power of love! Ding dong bing bong. Saved by the bell. Or cock blocked by the bell. However you wanna take it. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. As okay. Such, so it's officially nighttime, okay. so we gotta go to sleep. Hmm. It's night time. There is nothing to It is be unfortunate, done. but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone gets some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. 
What good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. <laughs> Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here! Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but... It's best to, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. <laughs> this is fine. Okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. <laughs> and you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the Mastermind. Okay, I need some chapstick, guys, because these lips is dry as shit. Alter Ego gone as quickly as he appeared. We would finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, just like what the Mastermind doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the Mastermind? If that's true. Damn, I was going on chapstick as I was reading this shit. No, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I'd yelled that loud. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it. I threw myself into bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. How do you fall into a restless sleep if you're restless? Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first. To the dining hall! I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting there for me... What do you mean? What does that mean, Makoto? Tell me. Hmm. Is this it? What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me, only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. Oh, anyway, let's wait a little while longer for the others. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited, So it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Why haven't the others come? Hiro I mean... and Celeste have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Hifumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. Wait, I forgot about the money. Ten million dollars! Forgot about the ten million dollars. I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wow wow wow, <laughs> am I right? wow 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 Don't tell me someone did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here, and you can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. I wonder who it's gonna be. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second. Okay. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. But... I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well, then. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Aren't you already on the first floor? Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Um, should I look right here? I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna be here. Just a bunch of nothing. How about we check the nurse's room? We've never been here before. Nobody's here. Okay. Well, I've actually never been here before, so it's kind of cool that we're here. But let's back out. We'll come back here next time. Whoa! What the heck? Someone, come here! What? That was Hina. She's supposed to be checking the third floor. There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. Damn, that kind of scared the hell out of me. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please. Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? 
It's awful. The rec room door was open. And when I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? I'd better get the others, right? I'm gonna go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room. What did she see in there? By this point, I was used to acting without thinking. So without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. Oh no. The first thing I saw when I got into the rec room was... <sighs> oh, okay. I thought she was dead. I thought it was her, to be honest. It was Celeste. And she was hurt. Okay. Are we good? What is that? What is this? It's some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. There's something written on the head. Justice Hammer 1? That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1? Okay, let's talk to Celeste. Ugh, Makoto! Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked by who? I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with a hammer on the ground there. Wakato! Celeste! Okay. I found Sakura! What? Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. A strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, I woke up this morning a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not over yet. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go to the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door. Which is when he noticed me and... And that's when you were attacked. It happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock, then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. But... Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. You did? I me. told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. I see. So you are willing to throw away all your pride. Indeed. It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? <laughs> when I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Kifumi. Kifumi? After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. What? You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? <sighs> did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us? Indeed. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... Actually... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. What the heck? This Transformer ass dude? Huh? What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. It said RJ on both shoulders. Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged Hifumi away? And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but... Hmm. The point is, someone dressed like that dragged Hifumi away. And it happened over an hour ago. Just a this is bad, we have to hurry! Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see. When they left the rec room, they headed left. If that's true, they were headed toward the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Mm. The second floor. That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um... Sorry, I didn't have time to look for her. No! This is bad. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed to the room and down to the second floor. No! No! 
Hey, you two. What? What's going on? What's all the fuss? What the fuck, what? Yeah, you guys playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Harifumi? You've gotta be nope, kidding. Nope, nope, sure haven't. Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. Uh -huh. We came here together. Stop talking. No, you're just stalking me. Anyway, can you guys help us look for them? What? Why? What happened? There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Okay. Hifumi, Kyoko, if you can hear me, say something. Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Mm. Hmm? Oh. Did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. <sighs> I think it came from the library. Okay. The library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs could carry us. No, please don't be Kyoko. Please don't be Kyoko. When we opened the door to the library... It hurts! It hurts! We found Hafumi seriously injured. Are you okay? Um, I'm glad to see you're still alive. It's super bad though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. Or that's what I decided to call him just now. What? What, what are you talking you about? Um. What the heck? Where is Kyoko? And where's Hiro and Taka? Mm -hmm. That guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you're referring to, this is it not? What the hell am I looking at? This is the one that attacks Celeste and Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's him. I'm sure yes. of it. Robo Justice. It can't be. Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. Okay, did we talk to him about Robo Justice? He's Robo Justice. It can't be. Robo Justice, huh? Okay, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Do we look in here? I'm really worried about Hafumi. I'd better ask him more details. Okay, let me check the hammer out then. It's a hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room, but this one is Justice Hammer too? And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with that hammer. He bonked me right on the head with it. Well... A hammer that big. I'm surprised you're still okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Hey. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? <laughs> I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <laughs> oh. It's him. <laughs> a robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? <laughs> what? Why is he here? Are you okay? Let with us this? not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hafumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah! You're right, let's go! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. But what about Kyoko, Hiro, and Taka? We moved Hifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. Hmm. How you feeling, Hifumi? Want me to take a look at you? Um. I am okay. I think it stopped bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. So Perhaps then. you should rest here a while. I yeah, suppose. good idea. Well, then. The rest of us should get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. indeed. Before another victim appears. The Justice Hammer seems to be increasing in size. First one and now two. So in other if there's a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it's even bigger than the first two. Oh. If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Hifumi. Um. Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. Hmm. That must be what I witnessed at around 7 this morning. Well. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack! Down came the hammer. That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. At around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have alibis. <laughs> I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Yes! His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. What? Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking! Anyway, so that means Biakuya and Toko were together at the time. Meaning they also have alibis. Then the only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked are the only two we haven't seen yet, Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? Very By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um... Oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. <sighs> Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. 
so bad. She might be exactly as I suspected. Hold on! Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked, so... Hmm. I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? In other words, I'm referring to what we talked about last night, who the Mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the Mastermind? That's not possible. What? Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey, save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only going to be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um... Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest up a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well, then. Okay, let's go. Oh, man, I really hope it's not Kyoko. So whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for reason from a deviant. What to do? So, what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? <laughs> Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? <laughs> I saw a shadow. Something moving around the top of the stairs. <laughs> really? <laughs> up on the second floor, then? Damn. You bastard! You won't get away from me! We all shot toward the stairs. Okay. He must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. Well, but don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Oh. Okay, but what should we yell? Just a second. Anything, it doesn't matter. So then, then is ha okay? What are you saying? Ha or doya or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doya? I've never heard such a reaction. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Robot, where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission ya! We spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. Okay. Well, um, let's check 2A. Okay, nobody is in 2A. So let me back that ass out. Ah! Ah! That strange cry. That had to be Celeste. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. I sprinted up to the third floor. Everyone. Over here, everyone! Everyone who heard the scream had come running. Just a second. Celeste, what's wrong? What? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. Oh, I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He must be down this hall. Come on, let's go. Ha <laughs> <laughs> What is it now? Uh huh? Huh? Whoa, it's really true. But that doesn't matter right now. No! Whoa. Huh? What was that? Okay. That came from downstairs. It must have been Hifumi. He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. What? What about the suspect? We've gone to all this trouble to capture him, right? Mm. Then why don't we split into two groups? It's all clear. I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. So Very bad. well. Then Makoto and Hino, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and Biakuya. So then. We'll handle it. Just go take care of Hifumi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all ran downstairs to the first floor. Just a second. He's in the nurse's office. Let's go. Okay, then why are we stopping just to say that? We know he's in the nurse's office. We stormed into the nurse's office, and what greeted us was... A world of dripping crimson. No. No! Damn! He got bonked on the head again?! Everything was covered in red. And in the center of all this red was... Hifumi? He got bonked with another <gasps> justice hammer. Ah! It looks what like something the... very bad has happened. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. No way! Murdered? You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? He's not really dead, is he? Are you serious? There's blood coming straight from the top of his big-ass head. Oh wait, three people noticed the body, right? So the investigation is going to start. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! What the? That was the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement. When three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... Hmm. It must mean Hifumi. Someone killed him. One of us. One of us? And look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. 
something that had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. All right, guys, I have been recording for two hours now. I just wanted to see who was going to be next. It happened to be Hafumi. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed this episode. My throat is completely done with all this talking. 50,000 likes, and I will release the next episode ASAP. If you guys want to see that, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. I tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!